Nine men are facing charges this afternoon after police say they dug a secret tunnel into the sanctuary of the Chabad Lubavitch headquarters in Brooklyn. The men described by police as extremist students are accused of digging the tunnel so that they would be able to have access to the sanctuary after hours. And when a cement truck was brought in to fill that tunnel, the men stood in the tunnel refusing to leave. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo is live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn with the very latest on this story. Anthony. Dave, Lauren, we're learning new this afternoon that five of those nine young men will be arraigned in court tonight, while the other four were issued desk appearance tickets, released, and expected back in court at a later date. Right now, the city's Department of Buildings investigators are inside this synagogue trying to determine whether it's safe for congregants to re enter. I think all who've seen the video can agree it is both chaotic and bizarre. Police arresting nine young men inside the synagogue between the ages of 19 and 21. The group charged with criminal mischief and reckless endangerment. Police say they were found inside a tunnel that was dug, leading to Chabad Labavitch World Headquarters on Eastern Parkway. Synagogue leaders described the group as extremist students seeking unauthorized access to the building by breaking walls. The tunnel had previously been discovered. When a cement truck was brought in yesterday to repair the walls, police say the group of young men stood in the tunnel and refused to leave. A spokesperson for Chabad Labavitch headquarters says, in part, the community is pained by the vandalism of a group of young agitators who damaged the synagogue below Chabad headquarters at 770 Eastern Parkway Monday night. These odious actions will be investigated and the sanctity of the synagogue will be restored. We spoke with some congregants who prayed outside this morning since the synagogue was closed pending an evaluation by the buildings department to determine structural stability. It was very tragic, obviously. It bothers everyone, this whole community. There's not a single person that doesn't bother him right now that it's closed. Unfortunately, there was a few people. I was there at the time. There was less than a handful of people that broke the wall. Unfortunately, they had to cause this disturbing occur thing that happened. And again, we watched members of the congregation out here in the cold this morning saying their prayers outside of the synagogue with police officers posted outside preventing anybody from going in. We understand right now there is some kind of discrepancy over who has control of the synagogue. Owners, uh, officials rather, of the synagogue say they have been litigating this matter in the New York State court, court system trying to gain proper control of the premises, but it is a case that has been lagging on for years.